Tesla Artificial Intelligence 10K H100 cluster go live Monday. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. Due to real world video training, we may have the largest training data sets in the world, hot tier cache capacity beyond 200 PB. Orders of magnitude more than LLMS. Join us, Tim Zaman, August 26, 2023. What's this all about? What does it mean? This is what this means. Tesla full self-driving beta gets a major training boost as the dojo supercomputer turns on if the dojo supercomputer is what we think it is is four times faster than google supercomputer which was previously the fastest supercomputer on the planet 26 teraflops it can run at a speed of was well that was google's speed of their supercomputer their quantum computer apparently dojo is meant to run at 100 teraflops so we shall see the tesla dojo supercomputer has been launched say a number of different sources. Now, full self-driving beta will receive a big boost in its training speed. Rather than it being a very, very manual, laborious process, it should now be incredibly fast. Dojo will increase its speed and accuracy of training by ensuring that autonomous driving is achieved as quickly as possible, say Tesla. According to Tim Zaman, AI Infra at Tesla, Tesla turned on its Dojo supercomputer on Monday. Its goal is to increase the speed and accuracy of training by an order of magnitude. Dojo is a supercomputer being developed by Tesla's team to increase the training speed of the neural network on the server side. Now, the idea here really is the neural network, it's like a child. That's Tesla's artificial intelligence. Just think of it as like a, a child robot. This neural network or the child should start learning at a much, much faster pace. Tasmanian says that in late June, Tesla announced it had completed work on its Dojo supercomputer and we put it into production in July. Now, it put that off by about a month. The company was just one step away though from powerful hardware that would potentially bring full autonomy to Tesla's vehicles. Now, I don't think that's gonna happen in hardware three vehicles. Tesla think it will, obviously, by their recent comments from Elon Musk. I think it won't actually work unless your car is equipped with the hardware for. Now, that's my take. What's yours? Let me know in the comments. With the launch of Tesla's supercomputer developed in-house, many obstacles apparently will be overcome that separated the company from actually really achieving fully self-driving vehicles. In June, Elon Musk said that Doja had already been online and running useful tasks for a few months. I'm not exactly sure what that means though. However, I'm gonna guess that at that time it had only partially been launched and they weren't fully running it. During the Q2 2023 earnings call, Elon Musk talked about the development of full self-driving beta. He said that to achieve level five autonomous driving, high computer power is needed. And the idea was that the Dojo supercomputer would provide faster, rapid training of neural networks. Until recently, this has been a limitation to Tesla's progress. They've been kind of basically relying on humans to identify edge cases. There's so many edge cases that could take forever. The idea here, in my opinion, is that Dojo is able to eventually identify edge cases, meaning that basically Tesla could eliminate that role and make it much faster. The fundamental rate limiter on the progress of full self-driving is training, said Elon Musk. If we had more training compute, we could get it done faster. Well, I'd say they probably have a lot more training compute now. With the launch of Dojo, this problem should have been solved. And the learning rate of full self-driving will be much faster. The company is now working on full self-driving based on artificial intelligence and Apparently now, full self-driving beta is available to all owners of cars who have, well, everyone who has purchased full self-driving with hardware 4. It wasn't available with hardware 4 until the last 48 hours. It should be available to everyone now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you actually downloaded it yet? What are your thoughts on the new Dojo supercomputer? Do you think it'll make a big difference? 
Could this actually be what Tesla needed to make for self-driving work? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.